on y'all because there's a lot going on right now <laughs> hey battle face welcome back to another vlog it's me andrea i'm just getting off work it's friday and i am about to be on my way to pick up my new car oh my gosh it's so exciting. <laughs> i'm so excited hold on let me put some lip gloss on because my lips are so dry right now i'm so tired i'm so exhausted but yeah, I don't know. I gotta run home, hopefully find some proof of address, residence or whatever, and then head over to pick up the car. That's a spo bleh. that's supposed to be the last things I need. Y'all, when I say these last few days have been I don't even know. It's just been crazy. It's been hectic, it's been crazy, and I don't I do not understand. But what I'm about to do right now, y'all, y'all remember when I told y'all that I um that I got accepted into, I didn't get accepted, I applied. I applied to a nursing program. Now, I wanted to apply to four. I don't know if y'all remember me talking about that, if you've watched any of my past videos, but I've wanted to apply to four um, LPN to RN programs. I didn't get to do that. The first one did not recognize my military training as actual training and being adequate enough to be an LPN, so that, school was out of the running the other school did not take a lot of my classes from the college that I go to even though everything is regionally accredited is so weird the other school wanted me to take the T's sitting at that school specifically and because I already had taken the T's I didn't see a need to I didn't want to retake it I don't want to pay the money to retake the T's that was like what it's like hundred and sixty dollars or something like that when I when I just I recently just looked because I actually considered it I'm like yeah though that's not gonna happen and so I only got a chance to apply to one school and I won't even lie, I don't feel like my application was the strongest. I feel like I definitely could have did better. I feel like my application was a little bit sloppy because obviously you don't really have assistance when you're doing everything kind of like online. And so I was kind of beating myself up about that. But I'm just going to go ahead and save myself the agony. They said that the results are out with the list of people that got accepted. I'm just going to go ahead and check it and see what happened. Um... To be completely honest, regardless of what happened, whether or not my name is or is not on this list, I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be fine. Um, I still have options and stuff like that. I just can't believe it's so difficult to get an education in the military. Like, I, it shouldn't have taken, it shouldn't take me this much and it shouldn't be taking me this long to get my nursing degree as it is. But, you know, I guess that's, that's, that's part of the game. So let's see here, uh, as far as my login information, I wonder if this is even right. Hold on y'all, let me see something. No, not that. See, I don't know what my password is then. Um, let me see. Y'all, this is gonna suck if, you mean to tell me that I don't know my password? Like, what are you talking about right now? Uh, that is so crazy. 
I know my password, but it's not letting me. That is my fucking password. What are you talking about? Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm wondering if they're talking about my stuff. Because it's supposed to be my student account, right? Y'all, this is about to drive me crazy. If you mean to tell me. Let me try something else real quick. It will not be this. No, ain't no way. Was that it? <sighs> See? Already stressed. Already stressed. Um. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. God, oh my gosh. I was so stressed out about this. I was so, I was so stressed out about this. I was so stressed out about this. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me get my life together for a second. Oh no, I look a mess, no. on camera it's bad enough i already feel like i don't look cute right now um uh i got accepted into nursing school i just got accepted into nursing school yo i i just got accepted into nursing school uh i'm too excited i'm getting a migraine right now What you doing? Uh, what not the shower? Hmm? Baby. What is that? I got accepted. To so the school? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Talking I'm all that crap now. <laughs> I didn't think my application was good enough, but I just opened it. I don't know. Like, this is insane. There were so many people that applied. There were so many people, and I think they only accepted like 30 or something like that. It says, congratulations, you have proven yourself a strong candidate for the fall 2024 special criteria program. I am excited to share with you, you have been selected for admission too, and we have reserved the seat for you for fall 2024 term. You should be very proud of your accomplishments that led you to your selection from a, from a highly competitive applicant pool. Where is school at? It's, it's here. Mm. It's not too far. So Took all that crap. <laughs> I'm so excited, and oh, um, today is such a good day. But it's Friday, first of all. I'm about to go pick up my car, and I just got accepted into nursing school, and I got off work early at 12:30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the things and stuff. It's so good. It's such a good weekend. Mama. You look like you were sleeping all day. You were sleeping all day? You were sleeping all day? Y'all, excuse this mess. I got these cameras and stuff that I'm still trying to put together and put up. It's, it's, it's a process. But y'all already know. Because y'all be loving my green scrubs. My Landau's. Y'all know I love my Landau's. <sighs> y'all, speaking of Landau. Post on. Got my phone. They liked my post on Instagram with my scrap. Oh, jeez. Let me put this in this pocket. Dang. All right, what am I here for? I am here because I need a bill. 
I need a feel to show that I actually live where I live and hopefully I have one. I, mm, I got one somewhere. Like I had one and I specifically said I was keeping it because of a time like this, like I might need it. Is this it? Okay, so I'm gonna take that one. Y'all, I got a headache, oh no. Mm, not on my perfect day, not on my perfect day. And I'm hungry too. What do I want to eat? Okay, I got this. Um. Oh! I got my bill, I got my lease. So one of those should suffice. Y'all, it's so nice outside. It's so nice and bright. Which is weird because it's it's like flopping back and forth between super, super cold and super, super hot. And I don't know about y'all, but I thought that was pneumonia weather. Ooh, that's what I'm, you know what? I'm gonna wait until I come back to eat. I wanna make some sausages and eggs. You can go out when I come back, okay? Not right now, because then I might lose you and you won't come back. All right. So let me grab this bill here. Um, I gotta run upstairs real quick. Y'all, I'm Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so excited. Like today is such a good day. <sighs> oh, my head. Stop. Let me not do too much. Oh, it smells good in here still. Um, what did I come up here for? What did I oh <sighs> let me think about life for a second. There was something I had to do. Wait. There was something I had to do. What was it? What was it? Oh, I can't remember. All right, I guess I didn't need anything up here then. I did just spray myself though. I'm telling y'all, this right here, such a good Baccarat Rouge dupe. This here. Which one is this? Is it gonna focus? That one. That one right there. The light pink one. All right, let's go ahead and get up out of here. Let's go get my car. Y'all, I got a new car. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You see anything different? Do you see any changes? Anything look different? Y'all look at the interior of this car. And I got a boom roof. Oh my God, I love it so much. Look at these seats. Uh, I wanted the light interior seats so bad. And it's so, this is so crazy how all this worked out. It's so insane. But y'all, boom roof. What? What? New car, who this? New car, who is she? We don't even know. Who is she? Yeah, I'm so excited about this. Uh, I love it. You know what? I'm gonna leave that open for now. Um, I just got back from the dealership with my car. And it's time to do all my little customizations and the things that I need to do to make it fit me, make it my own. I won't lie, this is a very, listen, I have a migraine. Let me just cut to the chase. I have a migraine and it came on so fast. Like it's all in here in my eye. I kind of feel it over here. And I swear, any type of good time that I want to have, my migraines usually ruin it. They usually ruin it. Because I'm trying my hardest to be excited. Like, y'all, I just got accepted into nursing school. Like, not prerequisites, not none of that stuff that I've been doing. No, I'm an actual nursing student. And I am, I am really excited. But it's hard to show my excitement because this freaking migraine is killing me. I just got a new car, not my dream car, but a car that I've had my eyes on for years now. Like 
I wanted this car this car specifically for so long there's some things in it that I wanted that's missing but they're little minor things that I can live with but I'm blessed I'm so excited I'm so happy about this so I got the 2023 Nissan Rogue SL trim with the premium package kept it in the family I went from a Nissan kicks to a Nissan Rogue and look at this car look at this car it is so pretty everything about this car is so pretty look at the interior look at the seats you got the moon roof look at the seats I gotta put all my stuff back up but look at the seats oh my gosh I love this so much I got my my cordless wireless Apple play all of that I am so excited about this so yeah mm, I love this thing so much it looks so good um hold on real quick so what I'm about to do is the things that I already have like all my little car accessories that I already had from obviously my last car I'm gonna go ahead and um, put everything in this car and then see what else I want to buy because I do want to get my little um, mirror decal or whatever the one because I had one here that said you're beautiful or something like that and then one there that said you're enough you are enough and I really like those so I want to get some more of those and I think that is God, I love this car so much I'm like are you kidding me I love this car so much it's so pretty this is such a beautiful car yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did that I did that I did that me I did Hold on, let me call Trey. I be calling this man for every little thing. <laughs> oh wait, hit the hit the hit the FaceTime button. My car. Look at that. Thing. All that light. It's that beautiful. Look at that. It is so gorgeous. That sexy ass man right there. Oh gosh, I love it so much. I gotta put my stuff up. I got the little kick back gate thingy. I got the my wire, you know the the tail the the trunk thing, the kick lift. Oh yeah. You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam Style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Lele, oh, lele, oh, yeah Tobalo, Camacho, yeah Nobody know tomorrow. Choro, choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he come at us. No, go fumble. So I just finished putting my things in the car and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It looks so good. Look at my pillows back there. I put my pillows in there and it looks so nice against those gray leather seats. Got the panorama open. Oh, it looks so good. That is so nice and open. There's so much space in this car. I need to get some new cup holder thingies. Let me turn my 
I need to get some new cup holder thingies because um those are a little small. It's my focus. Yeah, those are a little small, but they'll do for now. And then I have my little flower things over here. My little what are these? Um air freshener. Got my air fresheners right here. I also have these little air fresheners over here. I have a lab no, I have yeah, I think I have lavender in those, jasmine in the this one and cologne in that one. And then you have this little compartment here. And it opens up and I just got all my junk in there. And y'all already know I don't go nowhere without the sweater weather. The sweater, weather. It's almost time to put this away, but it's still in there for now. And then I got me some hand lotions. Um, some perfumes there's another one in here right there some lip gloss hand sanitizers a little notebook i need to put a pen in here because every single time i'm looking for a pen i can never find one so yeah and y'all i love how you can close one side of this by the way i love that so what's this and that's just the thing but i love that so much there's so much space in there but y'all i love this look at all this storage space down here like i can just get in here throw my badge or something down here set my phone down there like that is so much space. look at that that is so much space i love that so much um the passenger seat is powered as well i'm still trying to figure out because y'all already know i like to have a picture of me and trey in a car but i don't want to put anything on here because this is soft touch like, I don't even know if that's leather, but it's soft touch. So I don't really know if I should stick anything up there because I don't want it to leave like a mark. But I'm thinking I want to get this picture of us from the day we got engaged. That is so cute. Y'all don't mind my nails. Y'all already know I'm in the process of learning how to do them. So I got to go and do them this weekend. But I'm thinking what I want to do is tape this up here like that. Like I want to cut it down a little bit and tape it there you know what i'm saying so yeah but for now they're just gonna sit over here because i don't know what to do with them and then back here hold on can y'all see let me show y'all this real quick because i love and amia and darion's gonna love this but they have these little sun shades that you can put up look at that and they got them on both sides i love the kick lift gate that's back there and y'all that's already proven to come in so handy because when you put stuff in your hands and then you're like okay how to, in the world am i going to get the trunk open that kick it saves my life it saves my life i love it so freaking much i love how big how much bigger this car is like there's so much space in this car i just love it so much y'all and then i like that i can actually sit y'all right here and just talk to y'all like obviously i won't be doing that while i'm driving but i love that i can just sit this right here and it's just stable right there hold on let me look at that look at that i am so excited about this y'all i just i I'm so appreciative right now. Like, I do not understand how, honestly, I don't want to sound super dramatic, right? Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get a good frame right here. But I truly do not understand how my life just took a turn the way it just took today. Getting accepted into this nursing program means it really does mean the world to me. Like, I have been waiting for years and I cannot over exaggerate. Literally, I've been waiting years to get accepted into nursing school. Like, yes, I'm a nurse, I'm an LPN, but you don't really get opportunities until you are an RN. Let's just be completely honest um as an lpn i've made good money in like the and oh i need to get a thing for my little start button here but i've made good money in the nursing homes and home health and stuff like that but that's not what i want you know i want to be in that emergency you know urgent care, critical care setting and i just i'm just blessed that i am finally accepted into nursing school that i get the opportunity i I don't know. I don't I don't I don't even know how I ended up here. 
but I am grateful, I am thankful, and I'm just blessed. And I just want to thank God because I keep telling myself all these things that I want for years, I will tell myself that maybe I wasn't meant to be more than what I am. Like when I was stuck in a place where I had nothing, I was nothing, I kept thinking, cause I would try to claw my way out of the situations and stuff that I'd be in. And I kept telling myself like, maybe I just wasn't meant to be any, anything more than this. Maybe I wasn't meant to have nice things. Maybe I wasn't meant to travel. Maybe I wasn't meant to do these things. When you hear people always saying like, God had everything planned out, you know, God has the last say. God already have your path chosen for you. And for you to work so hard to build yourself when you just get knocked down, it's hard to not think like maybe this was just for me. Maybe this was just my plan. And getting out of that mindset was hard. But then it got to a point where I realized I'm not meant to be less than who what I deserve, right? I just were I just wasn't working hard enough to do it because I had goals back then. I had goals, I had dreams, I had admirations. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted my life to look like, but I was too busy. I would pray on it, but where's the action behind these prayers? Where's the action behind what it is that I want to do? Just because you tell God that you want something, he's going to give you the resources to get it, but if you can't pick that up, and, and, and see the signs and stuff that he's given you and see the opportunities and stuff that he's given you, then you're missing your mark. You're missing your blessings. And so that's one of the things that I had to really start paying attention to because faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. And dreams and goals without action are just dreams. The things that I'm doing now, it's definitely, I'm, I'm in an uncomfortable place. Like I feel a shift. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel all this pressure i've been feeling i feel like that's just because i'm making a shift in life and obviously when it's time for you to level up and go to the next level things are going to be uncomfortable for you and so that's where i'm at right now but i'm just i just want to take a step back and just bask in what i've done for myself the accomplishes the accomplishments and stuff that I've made because I'm y'all and y'all know I'm not the type of person to anything that I accomplish for whatever reason I feel like I'm not either I'm either doing too much I'm not I'm either I'm not doing enough or I don't want to feel braggy so I don't post my accomplishments I don't give myself my flowers and that's just something that gotta stop I don't have to be humbled every time I accomplish something. I get to celebrate, and this for me is a celebration. And when I graduate school, that's going to be another celebration. And when I get to move on to the next step of what it is that I want to do with my life, that's going to be another celebration. So that's also one of the things that I want to start doing this year is actually giving myself the praise that I deserve because I have not been doing that. I haven't been doing that. As far as this car, I am just so happy to have this car. I know materialistic things don't matter, but I love this car. I love this car and it's 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 mine and I just, I don't know. It's just something about being able to finally get something that you've been wanting for so long. That's just so satisfying and so, so, it just makes you happy. It just makes you happy. It makes you proud. And that's where I'm at right now. So God is so good. God is so good. But what am I about to do right now? I'm hungry. Oh, my migraine is gone. Y'all, I, I feel just a little bit of pain. I ended up taking two um, Excedrin and then I popped another Maxol. So my pain is at a minimum and I'm feeling good again. So I'm about to go in here. Um, make me something to eat clean a little bit and honestly I think I want to start on my nails tonight because oof, 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 look at this I don't know if it's gonna focus but I was trying to show y'all my nails but just know my nails are looking uh look at that looking crusty they're all chipped and broke off and stuff like that especially the look at this stone look at this hand it's just all messed up so um i'm about to go ahead and try to work on that as well at the very least soak these things off because oh but yeah that's about it i'm about to go ahead and go inside and um i'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later oh i forgot i still have this thing as well y'all my brand new card oh shoot. 
this damn brand new so um let me show y'all what i got so like i said i got the 2023 nissan rogue the sl forward wheel drive and i have all of like the basic things but the main thing was the um premium package that i wanted added into it this came with literally every single thing that i wanted in a car um except the ambient lighting i was told that i might be able to just add that um you know aftermarket or something like that later on down the line but as far as what i have now this is perfectly fine and i'm absolutely i'm so excited and as far as the total i want to say my total with everything else added on was like forty-five thousand, but affordable affordable that's that's what we're gonna say affordable so i'm excited i'm super excited y'all through a lot it is 16 36 and i'm just now leaving the house i'm just now picking this camera back up because there wasn't really a reason to pick it up um obviously i saw a lot of clips going on i had a very 
very very very extremely productive day and it felt so good it felt so nice i'm so excited and that means i need to start waking up this early almost every saturday to be completely honest so just to back up y'all i passed out on a couch i was so tired i passed out on a couch i woke up at like two o'clock in the morning i'm like it's two o'clock in the morning which is crazy because i felt like i was so arrested and so then i went back to sleep <laughs> and woke up again it was like 4 50 ish or something like that like 10 minutes before my alarm got um goes off and i got a message i i think he texted me like around one maybe i don't know but i woke up and i saw that trey had texted me like oh you must have passed out definitely did so i had to text him back but then i'm just up right it's like four barely not just hitting five o'clock in the morning i'm like i'm, I'm up i might as well get up and do something y'all when i say i deep cleaned I deep clean this house some serious hold on I'm trying to balance y'all up here I don't know where to sit y'all in here yet but when I say I deep clean y'all I'm still hold on because I'm still getting used to these electric seats like what anyway when I say I deep clean something serious ooh, let me not do that <laughs> I could deep clean my room I deep clean the bathroom I deep clean just upstairs in general I deep clean downstairs um i ended up finally putting up mia's fairy wall and it looks so so pretty y'all should see it in person like y'all see it on video but y'all need to see it in person it is so freaking pretty i made me some breakfast then i got me some coffee before um before i started doing my nails and stuff so y'all look at my nails i'm getting so much better at this right do y'all remember what the first one looks like if y'all don't go and look at my um my maintenance video at home but i'm getting really good at this to be honest i want to i want to do this until all of the material obviously like the supplies is gone because the point of me even doing this was to save money so i'm gonna go ahead and um just use everything until it's done i just wish the colors were true to color like they were like I wish these colors actually match the colors on the photo. They do not. So this is supposed to be more of a burgundy reddish color. And obviously it is not. But it's fine. I still look neat enough. Um, I did my toes. Those things look so good too. And um, got in a shower. Freshened up a little bit. I didn't do my hair. I, pff, I didn't know. Because I'm about to go get some food real quick. And then come back and just chill out a little bit more y'all i was done with all of that and it's not even five o'clock it is 4 30 and i got so much done i got so much done i was even editing a little bit so there's going to be quite a few videos going up next next week i think one two because i just want to get the footage out of my camera to be honest just get it all edited done so i can start like fresh because i got a lot of things happening right now anyway yes i'm mm, i don't know i just woke up super early and i just walk y'all through my day because like i really didn't feel like vlogging but i'm like okay i don't want to like just come on and be like oh i did this i want to actually show you guys what i did so it makes sense anyway so i think i am about to go to first i'm about to go and post only there's not a reason for me to go anywhere y'all i'm gonna be honest i just want to drive my car <laughs> just gonna be in my car because this thing is beautiful oh, i didn't turn it on yet <sighs> yeah. gotta put my seat up but um this thing is gorgeous you don't ever release me talk about me and your stories Basically. But yeah, I'm only getting in my car just so I can go and drive somewhere. There's nowhere for me to go. So yeah, yeah. All right, let me go get my food. <laughs> I just pulled up to the PX and I won't lie, I don't feel like walking in there. It's so far. Let me think, what do I even, ooh. Charlie's is here. I know exactly what I want. I want those gourmet loaded fries. Oh my goodness. Those are about to be so good. Do I want anything else? No, I might just get two orders of fries. Alright. Go ahead and get up out of here. Yeah, I love this freaking purse. I love this purse so much. And then the wallet. Like, listen, I love it. 
I just left um, Charlie's and I got fries. And I need to eat some now because I'm hungry. Come on. I seriously hate when they don't put forks in a bag. It's dumb. Mm, 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 y'all. Look at my fries. Look at my gourmet fries. Mm. These things are so good. And it's crazy because I don't even like ranch. But Annie's fries is so good. That's so good. I was hot. But I'm about to sit here and um <laughs> I'm about to sit here and eat my fries real quick and watch a video. It ain't like I'm in a rush to do anything else. So I'ma see y'all later. Hey, battle face. It is the morning time. Good morning. It's actually 9. It's 9 10. The gym just opened. So I decided I'm going to go to the gym this morning because, to be completely honest, I freaking love mornings when I don't have a lot of stuff to do. Sorry, y'all. The sun is doing its own thing today. Where is. There we go. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn this up. Turn it up. Anyway, I got up this morning at like uh, four, it was like 4.09 or something like that when I looked at the clock, but then I laid there for another hour-ish. Then I started scrolling a little bit on Pinterest. I got a few things done that I had to do like on my phone, like emails and stuff like that. And yeah, I ate a Pop-Tart for breakfast. So I'm about to go to the gym. I'm, uh they open at nine. I was low-key trying to... <sighs> I cannot stand when Sam decides she wants to sleep on a bed. And it looked like she was here all night too. I'm gonna just have to be stern about keeping her off the bed. Jeez. Anyway, I got up about 4.30, was up sitting there until about five. Was just doing stuff the gym opens at nine and i wanted to be there by nine like i wanted to be one of the first people there but obviously that's not going to happen excuse my hair this ponytail is not tight enough but um you see my deodorant i gotta shave but the gym opened at nine and i kind of wanted to be there by nine like i wanted to be one of the earliest people in there um but it's fine it's still super early there shouldn't be a lot of people in there i hope because i've been wanting to lift but there's been so many people there, I can't even do that. Where's my head wrap? Cause I'm looking a mess right now. I might just wear this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just cover it up. Just cover all the hair up. Maybe. Nah. Where's my scarf? There was a specific scarf I would wear to the gym if my hair wasn't acting right and I can't find it. But yeah, I'm just getting dressed now. I've got to throw on my shoes and grab my things. I still got to pack my, um, my gym bag. It's already packed. I got to make my drink. And then we can head out. back off let's go you're so good such a good kitty kitty ah don't you dare you don't go in rooms Y'all, I decluttered so much. Yesterday, I think, because it was my perfumes, I went through all of my, that is bright, what? Oh, what is that, it's so bright, it's water. Anyway, oh my God, now I can't see. Anyway, um, yesterday, well, over the weekend, I've been decluttering. So I decluttered my perfumes, because there was like a bunch of different perfumes. Let me move this out the way for a second. All right, I need this. this. Still need to use these samples. Let me see. What is this? I don't know what this salted caramel is, but that looks so good. It's Sunday, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. There is my other thing. That's the post workout that I didn't use last time. Don't want to waste that. Yeah, that has been spinning. As far as decluttering, yeah, y'all, I was decluttering. I mentioned that at some point in this vlog, I'm pretty sure, or the last vlog, but um, I went through all of my perfumes and the things that, let me take this shot real quick, y'all. I Health is what I'm going for, and I have a bunch of these in my fridge. So on an ideal morning, I'll try to take one of these, and this is the Elderberry Immune Boost. There's a turmeric one in there that I like a little bit more, but hold on. These be a little spicy. Mm. So this has ginger root, turmeric root, elderberry, and black pepper. And I'm definitely feeling that black pepper in my chest. And I'm definitely feeling the ginger all up in my senses. All up in my sinuses. But it's not bad though. It's a little spicy, but it's not bad. But hold on, because I gotta wash that pepper down. I'm definitely mm -mm. so much better. Anyway, I had a lot of perfumes that was sitting in my collection that I just do not need. The thing I do notice is if I have a fragrance that's sitting in my collection a little too long, because there was quite a few, I just need to let it go. I'm not gonna use it. I need to give it to somebody. So I gave it away to my aunt and my sister, my grandma. She might not use, she might use the lotion. She might not use the perfumes, but things like that. Like I just got rid of some and then I, I put more on my list that I wanna go and sample and try and see what I wanna add to my collection in this year. Y'all, I had so many Starbucks cups. It made no sense. I decluttered all those things. And so I only have these cups over here now. These here, mainly the green ones, because y'all know my favorite color is green. Well, these are the Starbucks ones. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So those are the only ones that I kept. Everything else I done packed up because I'm sending that away as well. And I know my little sister gonna have a lot of fun with those um, carrying them to school, like she a little bougie little, I don't know. 
it's nice it's, it's nice to declutter i'm looking at like little different things that i want to do in my house now that i'm pretty much done with mia's room i can't wait to get started on darion's room and like i said i'm not going to be doing too much in his room um just like the basics like a bed i'm not going to even get him like bedding and stuff like that um literally probably just a bed maybe maybe a dresser i don't know because i want him to pick out his own things my baby is 13 years old so it's to the point where he can put his own style into his own room so it will probably be like a few months in the making maybe a month it depends on how quick he's working but i think letting him pick out his own room that way he actually enjoys it and get actual use out of it so that's where i'm at with that and then like little things that i want to put into the house that's where i'm at with that so it's going pretty good as far as this car y'all i cannot keep saying it enough i love this car i love 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 this car so much um hold on playing around with the settings and stuff i'm in love with i was just carry this whole thing out there y'all and one of the things that i really like right you can probably see my vinyl no. So one of the things that I really like is when I walk up to the car and I think I probably, I don't know, I, I got to figure out how it works. But when I walk up to the car, I set it where the car just automatically unlocks. When I walk away from it, it automatically locks. Like there's so many features in the car that's really, really handy. And I absolutely, I love it. I just love it so much. Mm -hmm. I need to get some spray like a um like a little lysol spray like the minis because when i'm at the gym um they're running out of stuff to wipe the machines down with and i just realized it's a little chilly because i forgot my jacket upstairs so hold on oh my god chilly y'all already know i gotta open this I love this thing. I didn't know that I was gonna like this as much as I actually like it. I didn't know I needed it. I don't need it, but I didn't know I needed it. So, ooh, it's so cold. So, got the GP, uh, wait, what is, hold on, I'm trying to see. What is happening? <laughs> uh, where is my Apple Play? First time driving my car to the gym. So excited. Um, I love this. I love that it has the heated steering wheel. I love that it has heated seats. I love the seat interior. I love this moon roof. I just, I love it. It's so bright. But who told me to be in the drive through of McDonald's? I just want to get some hash browns though. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry to put this stuff somewhere else it's like sliding all over the place and i love loving them things straight out the grease mm. that'd be so hot it's so good y'all i just left the gym and when i say it took like all the discipline in the world to actually walk into that gym and actually work out i did not like I fully wanted to work out when I left the house. Like when I started getting ready, when I left the house, I'm like, yes, I need to work out. But once I got here, I was just like, hmm, I don't wanna go in there. I sat in a parking lot for like 30 minutes on YouTube, watching a YouTube video. And I was just like, I don't feel like it. Then when I went in there, I'm just like, mm. So I kind of just did half of each set. Like instead of doing five, I mean, I usually do four reps of 10. I did like four reps of like five or something like that. Some of the workouts I skipped. I, I still got a decent amount in, but it definitely wasn't to the level I'm usually working out because I just, I don't know, I don't feel like it. I did not feel like it. But um, my friend ended up inviting me out to brunch on her. <laughs> Shout out to Kiara, but I'm about to go ahead and go over there. Um, I think she's way farther than me. I'm like, six minutes from the place i'm going to oh i need my other battery my camera's done i'm like six minutes from the place we're going to the place is called hey everybody oh 
the place is called the friend's table and um she said she tried to call to make reservations because you know it's sunday sometimes on sundays especially like in the afternoon after church and stuff like that a lot of these restaurants be super busy but she said nobody answered so she's gonna continue to try to call but i'm about to just head over there and see if they're busy and if i can just throw our name on a list if they are taking reservations or whatever the case may be so i'm gonna see y'all there Let me go. so i just pulled up to the spot it's just this little restaurant over here you probably can see that it's, it's right there the friends table and it don't look like there's a lot of people there but i do see two people just sitting outside so I'm gonna go see if they're if like if there's a wait. Maybe they're out there actually waiting to get in. Mm. I don't know. I'm about to go ahead and walk over there and see if there's a way. If there is, put our name on the list and then come back and look at the menu because I like looking at the menu, kind of knowing what I'm gonna order before we get to a restaurant because I'm very indecisive and just wait for her to get here. Nobody loves me like it. y'all it's too nice outside it's too nice outside it was just freezing outside so where's all this sun coming from <laughs> look at me complaining about a nice day outside and once it get cold again, I'm going to be complaining about it being cold. But I just put our name on the list. And I let her know that it's going to be about 30, 45 minutes before our table's ready. He'll text us. So I'm just trying to see if she still wants to eat here or not. I mean, but it seemed pretty decent. Like the invite, like the the atmosphere. Like they are, they're playing good music. It's given the brunch places and... um. In Atlanta y'all know the brunch like if you've been to like the brunch spots in Atlanta is never like a laid-back I haven't found like a laid-back brunch spot yet in Atlanta is usually like upbeat loud music is like is like a watered-down club scene I'm put it that way it's like a watered-down club so it's kind of oh it's kind of giving that in there but it, it don't it's not rowdy like the places in Atlanta be so that's okay um let me look at the menu actually Ooh. Eh, eh. shrimp and grits I love me some shrimp and grits so that might be the move a grit bowl let me just pull up the menu and mm -mm, they got a chai tea, apple juice. Wait, they don't have apple juice. That's crazy. That's a mimosa thing anyway. I'm not trying to eat, drink no mimosas. Y'all, I'm over here trying to look at the pictures and stuff to see what it is I want to eat. Um, so they have chicken and waffles. You know what, this mimosa flight, I might have to come back with Trey because he's gonna be coming here soon. I might have to come back with Trey so we can try that. And we can try the mimosa flight. Um, let me see. So chicken and waffles, a mimosa flight, green fried tomatoes, shrimp and grits. I really might get that shrimp and grits. Honey croissants. Y'all know I'm getting some honey croissants. And, oh, this English breakfast look good actually no it don't what is all that oh fruity pebbles on waffles i don't know that actually looked good to me what y'all think it looked like waffles bacon eggs but there's fruity pebbles on the waffles and then i was also looking at these honey croissants them things looking good then what else it was the shrimp and grits tell me that don't look good so <laughs> this place is cute and it's so crazy because the area that i'm in i've never been to this area and there's so much stuff that i'm interested in trying like there's a clean what is that clean eats there was a sushi bar there was something else that i was looking at 
this is actually where I need to come because the UPS store is over here like there's a little trampoline park right here that's crazy <gasps> it's her Linky her we had a new car wow she's so fancy <laughs> you went inside? huh yeah it's you told them we don't want one outside huh you tell them we don't want one outside oh i didn't <laughs> i'm not taking one outside <laughs> <laughs> she said she don't want to see it outside oh i'm coming over there because i didn't see your car yet y'all let's go see your car what you mean we we gonna see yours first ain't nothing special by mine Yes, it is. I'm coming. Y'all, let's go see her car. Please, sir, let me get in. You're not allowed in here. What do you mean? And then, oh my gosh. Y'all, look at this screen. Bruh. That's nice. Oh, you're fancy. Oh, she's fancy. I want to see yours. Come on. I love it so much. Listen. When I walked in there, right, <laughs> I was like, I want it to be fully loaded and I need it to have the gray interior. Ooh. You like that? That's cute. And you already put your little stuff in there. Girl, you already little... know my little pillows. Mm. This is the part that really got me. I didn't know I needed this until I had it. Wow. And now I just love it so much. That's nice. You got plenty of trunk space. I too. know. I feel I feel like I want to. No, I don't need it because I was thinking about getting that cargo cover mm -hmm. to go over it, just so I can have some where to sit my stuff on top of. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to be sitting this camera when I'm in here. This is cute. I really like Thank it. You. you got your little screen up mm there. -hmm. I got the premium package so I could get the bigger screen. Because the other screen is fine, but it was like this much off of mm -hmm. each side. This looks nice. Mm -hmm. I'm about to turn my car off. Yeah, go turn it off and come back. I need to throw this away. Thank you. Y'all, this picture of me and Trey, I literally put this in the car knowing that it was going to get sun damage because i wanted to have that sun damage -y look and it just looks so good it got the like sun spots in it oh that's so cute he's back guys dude i must be fighting demons in my sleep because i busted my lip last night <laughs> i don't know how Y'all, first of all, y'all wanna know what's crazy? So if y'all been following me, remember I started off at Seaburn, I reclassed at 68 Charlie. I've known her since she got into the military. Mm -hmm. I went to AIT. I, when I reclassed, she was just coming into the oh. army. Hey guys, so we are actually at the obstacle course right now. I'm with Sergeant Stasky, <laughs> Private Holloway. And uh, yeah, we're just coming down this giant, what is this one called? What is this one? The skyscraper. The skyscraper. So we're doing a skyscraper right now. We're literally going to be here all day. I thought it was at least 12 o'clock in the afternoon and it's only 10 something. How are you feeling? You fell, you fell down. My hands got hot really quick. <laughs> <laughs> now she's an NCO. She, wait, did you come in as a fuzzy? I did. She came in as a fuzzy, y'all. Now she's an NCO. She's an NCO. What? She grew up and now we're friends. And you're gonna see my journey ending in the military too. <sighs> Both our journeys are ending. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I find a job, I'm out in like two weeks. I can't wait. Just wait. I think I'll be out by June-ish. June is the latest I'm giving myself to get I'm myself I'm hoping ready it's not past July. Because nursing, the like the nursing program starts mm -hmm. in like September. Yeah. Where so. are you going? Are you staying here? Yeah, it's um, Davis and Davy. The LPN to RN program, and then I'm going to transfer to Fable Tech. Fable, Fable State. June at the latest. Y'all, my steering wheel just gonna have to be in the way for a second. I can try to put it down a little bit. 
but um i just pulled it back to my crib and i need a shower i need a nap i just need things because mm, i'm tired anyway we just got back from what is it the friends table and y'all when i say that was such a cute restaurant such a vibe music really good like i said it was definitely given like atlanta like the way the brunch spots are in atlanta i really really like that but it wasn't super overcrowded i like that as well like the tables had like decent oh geez the tables had decent separation in them the food so good <laughs> the food was so good i ended up getting some um fried deviled eggs with shrimp and I got the um, the mini Belgian waffles. Those waffles were so good. I got the mini Belgian waffles with a side of grits and potatoes. I didn't care much for the potatoes, but those grits were so good. And then before we left, we ended up getting another round of fried deviled eggs, but this time we got the ones with the bacon on top. It was just so good. It was such a good time. We are up there, like um, they started, listen, if you are a 90s baby like the millennial era like when the music was actually good if you are from that time line you're gonna love it because the music that they play i'm telling you we i'm pretty sure all of us got those songs in our phone that we forgot about i loved it so much and most of them i still knew word for word it was so good um they started playing what was it was it it wasn't Cupid Shuffle. It was something else. They started playing, and I like ran upstairs to do the dance with the with the older aunties up there, cause they wasn't old ladies, but they definitely was giving auntie. They was giving bougie rich auntie. So we was just in there, and it's so funny, cause it seemed like everybody in there was like dressed up, and here I am, you know, in gym clothes, and my friend straight out of church in her church clothes. So, but it was fun. It was really really fun. I appreciate her inviting me to that. I needed that actually. I haven't been out out like first of all i haven't been out in a long time but as far as like keeping plans and going and doing stuff with friends i haven't done that in a while either so this was nice i won't lie like at first i was just like oh, i just want to go sit in the house but no i'm super super glad that i went it was such a vibe such a vibe and i gotta go back i can't wait to take trey i want trey to go with me but um yeah what the fuck but like I said, I am exhausted now. I need a nap. It's only three o'clock, so I'm probably about to go shower real quick. Um, I got to make a video that's already uploaded on my channel, but I gotta make it live. And then take a nap. Yeah, I gotta take a nap because the only other things that I need to do before this weekend is over is, um, oh, y'all, I need to, look at the other the second portion of the welcome in packet because right now with all the students that got selected into the nursing program we're all conditionally accepted pending we get through like the background check um the we get the immunizations and all of those things so we are like i said conditionally accepted until we finish with those things which i mean it'll get done i'll get it's it's no problem at all so i'm just super excited so basically um, what I'm trying to do is make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not forgetting to do anything. I got the right paperwork. I got the right things. I got the right times because there is a mandatory orientation that we have to go to as well. And I just want to make sure I'm getting everything. I don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize my spot in this nursing course because I waited. Y'all, I waited when i say i prayed for this opportunity for so long for so long years in the making and i've waited so patiently and now it's finally happening and the timing that is happening though y'all is if you really understood if you really understood the timing of this is crazy to me like this is a blessing and i i can feel it i know it nothing but good things is going to come out of this this is amazing but yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, 
I also got to make me a budget list because that's another thing that I'm working on. So I got to compile every single thing that I pay from top to bottom. Like I actually need to go through my bank statements and stuff and like really see like, all right, Andrea, where is your money going? Because this whole being broke but not broke thing, we're not, we're, we're, mm -mm, that ends this year. That ends this year. I promise you. Mark my word that ends this year. So I'm about to get all that stuff together. I'm about to get it together but yeah i'm just so happy i'm so excited i i keep finding myself just sitting in moments of just feeling blessed and i'll just sit in those feelings like i'll just sit there and just take it in like this is my life everything that i've been through all of the hurt all of the sorrow the struggling everything that i've been through is making sense to me now like it didn't make sense to me when everything was happening and I was going through it but it makes sense to me now and I just I'm grateful like I am so grateful I am so overjoyed and grateful like this is amazing um but yeah that's about it y'all I'm about to go ahead and turn this what is this hold on y'all hmm. I'm about to go ahead and end this vlog right here if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm asking nicely. Can you just subscribe, please? Um, you guys know that I have a 10,000 subscriber goal that I want to hit by the end of the year. And we're close. We're over the hump. Like, we're, we're, we're more than halfway there. So, if you haven't already, just make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on my other socials as well. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, so many times I